spread the latex in so it had a really thin edge, and then started working our way towards the center to build it up thicker. But you want these nice little wafer thin edges. Instead of having a straight line, you go back and you pick the edges of your plant and tear it. So you have weird jagged edges like that, and that way it melts on your skin and disappears instead of having this perfect. I do not recommend spirit gum at all whatsoever. Spirit gum is garbage. It dries into a crystalline form, it cracks, it's just it's hard a pain. on the eye area. It's too, easy to use. Me. This is Prosade. You guys anybody here know what Prosade is? Heard of it? No, this is this is prosthetic adhesive. baby powder. Rick Baker, Rick Baker uses Johnson's baby powder for all of his makeups. I kid you not. It's the best. If it's good for babies, it's good for me. <laughs> so, get rid of the stickiness. Also, if you have a wet sponge with water on it, it doesn't stick as bad. You can dab your edges down, pin them down if you need to. Now I can touch it without it sticking to me. I can push the edges down a little bit better. There, there's two types of paints. There's your regular makeup. Your regular makeup works great on skin. It's got a it's lanolin oil, I think, in it. Rubber mask grease paint has castor oil in it. That's the only thing that will go on latex and spread evenly without drying out. The problem with regular makeup, the minute you hit the latex, latex absorbs the oil out of it, and now your makeup almost turns into a powder and you're pushing it around real hard trying to get it to work. For this little thing, we're not worried about it. If I was doing this whole face, I would use rubber mask grease paint. Let me use this, a mirror on color wheel, which you can buy anywhere. It's just got the bruise colors in it, like a bruise wheel. My wife's gonna go in and she's gonna paint the inside of it. Of course, gonna make the hole look like it's black. We could have planned this a little bit better every more time. Now, you guys familiar with stipple sponges? See these stupid things? These are a godsend. What they do is, is they create a mix colors and give you dots that you can break up on the face. So it takes away your, your edges, make them disappear. Dab it in different colors, build it up. Of course, it's got to look red and kind of inflamed. Add some more red in there. Not blocking that might help. Okay. And then you go back to the sponge. You blend it. And it gives you a, a whole series of different colors. You can mix purples, blues, reds. Unfortunately, the black's very wet. Coming out a bit. Some more red on there. Of course, you know, proper time is everything.